Hi there, it's Michael Lafito, author of the book Luxury Listing Specialist, and I'm the founder of the Lux or Luxury Listing Specialist designation. In this week's video, we're going to be talking to you about how to secure that first trophy listing. We're actually going to sh share with you the same strategies I shared with Kirk, who's a top agent. He's out of Louisiana, and we helped him. We're going to actually share a link to our 90-second podcast where we actually coach Kirk up as he prepared to go on a trophy listing appointment. It was a $1.9 million listing appointment. And oh, by the way, we're going to share some pictures coming across your screen right now of the actual property because guess what? Kirk, the owners did hire Kirk. So again, we're going to share with you some of the things that we shared with Kirk to help him grow his knowledge and his confidence so that when he walked in on that listing appointment, he had the tools and the resources and the knowledge and the confidence to exude to the, to the client, to the potential client, where that client picked them over the competition. Again, my contact information is below, and our podcast is LuxuryListingPodcast.com. It's on iTunes, it's on Spotify, it's on Stitcher. Leave us a review, leave us a like. We can never have too many of those. Again, if you have read our book, Luxury Listing Specialist on Amazon, please leave us a review, and uh, we greatly appreciate it. All right, getting back to the coaching session. So again, Kirk had invested in our certification, our designation, we use those terms inter interchangeably, but it's technically a designation. Kirk invested in Lux, and uh, I told Kirk, because he, he was through a uh, online, he was with EXP, and I was presenting in the cloud, and Kirk had asked some questions during our interactive training, and uh, he said he had a big listing coming up, and so I had said I'd be willing to give you a free coaching session in exchange that we can, we can record it and others can learn from it. So he said, no problem. So in that coaching session, uh, we break down, it's, it's about an hour long, but again, I've included the link, you guys can listen to it, but I'm going to give you the Cliff Notes version. In that coaching session, we had to help break down some barriers that Kirk had because again, this was a trophy listing opportunity for him. And then we went over some data, some market data. I had asked him to be prepared. I'd given him some ideas and some suggestions on having strong visuals. And he had brought another agent to show up differently. That's one of the things I teach agents all the time is grow your knowledge, be knowledgeable, but show up differently than your competition. And so that's one of the things that he did implement. And then I also talked to him about some things you should say and things you shouldn't say. So let's talk about things you should say in a listing appointment. First off, put your personal opinions at the door, check them at the door. Again, market research, you'll see that come across the screen, but market research is the bad guy. Just like if you have a door-to-door -door salesman knock at your door and you say, well, you know what, I, I, my wife's not here, I, I can't make that decision when she's not here. Or maybe you as an agent, someone's trying to sell you on some website or something like that, and you say, you know what, I gotta check with my broker. Well, market research is the bad guy when it comes to real estate. So if you're getting tours of the home, and in the past we've shared with you how to create case studies, some before and afters, but if you're getting a tour of the home, and there's something that is very taste specific, whether it be pink wallpaper or animal heads. You know, once you build rapport with the owners, eventually you can have some of those difficult conversations with them, but don't say, I personally believe this, or I think you should do this. You know, mar but instead say, you know, market research suggests that those animal heads might turn some people off and they might not even want to see your home. Or market research suggests that the wallpaper, while I don't have a problem with it, again, most buyers can't visualize. So that was one of the things that we helped Kirk with was market research. The other thing we talked to him about was comparables because this was a very unique home and I had talked to Kirk about the fact that don't come prepared with a price when there's no true comparables out there. You can come with what I call a LAR report, a luxury analysis report, or a luxury snapshot, but on a listing appointment where it's a very unique property, it's one of a kind, it's custom built, or there are no true comps, you as an agent don't come prepared with the price because A, you might turn the seller off because you hadn't even walked through the home first before determining price, and, 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 and two, the other agents all come with their CMAs and you could use that against them. You could tell the seller, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, I am not prepared with the price today. Matter of fact, those other agents you're interviewing, if they come prepared with the price, I'd walk them to the door. How could they 
give you a price when they haven't even walked through your home and did some calculations and talked it over with their team members. So you're going to hear all this and a lot more against our 92nd episode. You can listen to it at LuxuryListingPodcast.com or click on the link. My name is Michael Lafito. If you have any questions whatsoever, shoot me an email, Michael at Marketing Luxury Group. And don't forget, our first live online luxury designation class, it was LuxuryDesignation.com. Again, we're going to be doing future ones. So if you go to that website and it's after the fact, you can go to Luxury Designation where we're going to be announcing future live online designations. Or you can just go to LuxuryListingSpecials.com if you're ready to take action and work smarter, not harder. My name is Michael Afito. Keep raising the bar in real estate and we'll talk to you soon.